another video and today we're going to be looking at the 2020 presidential election and um we're going to be looking at the polls and see what they've been saying so on wednesday we got a big a big batch of polls that got released because i think over the last two weeks we haven't had that major of polls so we're going to go through the polls and go through them and i'm going to give you what i think of them and like i think if they're skewed a little bit if they're accurate and yeah so with general elections what we're seeing is that Currently, general election, Biden is leading Trump um, by around from three points all the way to 11 points with about an average at seven or six, which, again, it's a great thing for Joe Biden to have. A nationwide lead is good to have. But, guys, remember that winning an election does not win winning the nationwide popular vote. Go ask Hillary Clinton. Go ask Al Gore. Those people can tell you and they show that winning the popular vote doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be the president. So general election, I think generally we're seeing trends towards Biden. So Florida, so that's the only Florida poll we got. Florida, CBS, okay, CBN, CNBC, change research. So I would say that this poll's a little bit, let's just check it out because I think it's a little bit misaccurate. I think that currently Donald Trump is narrowly leading in the state of Florida. So yeah, let's see. Does it have a margin of error? No. So... I honestly think that that poll is very, um, I think it's a little skewed to the Democrat side, but still, maybe it is that Joe Biden is currently leading in the state of Florida, and actually, he could have a great lead. This poll in Pennsylvania, I'm a little skeptical, spectable. This poll does not look right. There is no way that Donald Trump is leading in Pennsylvania by four votes, and yeah, by four points. I think maybe this 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 um polling firm, which is a polling firm that we've seen that's been polling a lot of these places that have been favoring a little bit Donald Trump, they're a little skewed. Which at the end of the day, what can we do about that? So um sorry about that. I don't know what that happened. There you go. So, um where else? I mean, other important polls that we are seeing, we see like the state of Arizona. Biden plus one, Biden plus four. I guess that's like currently where we are at. Um, Wisconsin, it's looking like it's going to be pretty close, but some people say it's not. Somehow, I think the Fox News poll actually favor a lot more the Democrats. There, For example, another example. There's no way Mark Kelly will win the whole Arizona Senate race by 13 points. Come on. Um, Cooper, Cunningham, that seems about right. And yeah, direction of the country, everyone's wrong track plus 41. That's like huge. That's like what? That's not 20. That's a lot. Um, pretty substantial margin. So that's like a 70 to 30 margin. Uh, congressional approval is also very highly disapproved. People are going to vote for Democrats in Congress. And especially with this um, protest things and things like that, we're going to see high levels of Democratic vote. Now, when it comes to states like Ohio, I'm surprised with this poll. Do I want to check out. Do they have a graph? They don't. Biden is currently leading by one point. I don't think that would actually happen. There is a very small chance that Joe Biden goes on to win the state of Ohio. So, looking forward, I mean, where realistically does Donald Trump have a chance? I'm going to make a video about that later today. So, currently speaking, Democrats are leading in majority parts of the country nationwide in some individual states and honestly this this might have been a boost from the black lives matter movement um post coronavirus movements and honestly it's looking pretty good for joe biden but some of the polls they don't show exactly of how some of the states can go so guys i hope you enjoyed this video it was a short one but hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe when we reach 250 subscribers we're close to reaching 70 when we reach 250 subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway. And I actually might consider doing a giveaway when we do 100, when we get 100 subscribers. Guys, thank you for watching and goodbye.